The physical environment influences our thoughts, decision making, and our mental state. So I make a conscious effort to design a workspace that promotes productivity, motivation, and creativity. And today I'm gonna give you a tour of my desk setup, and I'm gonna talk about what I'm mindful about when I design my workspace, and I'm also gonna share some tips for tidying up. I included a downloadable worksheet that will help you design a workspace to serve you better, so be sure to grab it from the description of this video. The two things I'm always mindful of when I'm optimizing my workspace is aesthetics and functionality. And this is the guideline that I follow. 1. Remove visual clutter as much as possible. Visual clutter can manifest in many different ways, such as office accessories, cables, gadgets, tools, books, letters, patterns, or colors can contribute to creating visual clutter, so I try to maintain the amount of these visual information to an absolute minimum. And that leads me to the next guideline that I follow. 2. Color coordinate. Picking a primary color for a workspace creates an aesthetic and cohesive look, and that can promote a sense of order and control, effectiveness and efficiency. I chose white to be the dominant color because I associate white with clean slate and freshness, and that's exactly how I would like to feel when I work. And as an accent color, I allow black because it's simply really easy to get office supplies and accessories in black. 3. Have plants. Many studies suggest the benefits of introducing greens to our workspace, such as reduction of stress, increase in productivity and creativity, improvement of health, noise absorption, and so on. And I feel like my plants reduce the sterilized feel in my all-white workspace and add warmth. But the biggest reason why I have plants in my workspace is because they help me tune in with a present moment. At the beginning of the day or even during my break time, I just glance at the plants to see if they need any water or other care. And this is a precious instance when I connect with my surroundings instead of being trapped inside my own head thinking about work or other things. Of course, as I work throughout a day, my desk gets really messy. And it's absolutely normal to accumulate clutter over time, right? But it becomes a problem when the accumulation becomes hoarding and that becomes destruction, intervening or productivity or even functionality. And the simple solution is to reset the accumulation each day. In other words, clean every day. And I can almost hear the disappointed sighs from the people that are watching this video right now, but honestly, that is the only way to keep it always clean. I know, it's easier said than done, right? So I personally follow two rules to make my cleaning routine easier. One, set a default status for my workspace. Two, have a home for every single item I own. The default status of my desk looks like this. I allow my mic, the plant, and my journals, and a notepad, and a pen holder, and that's it. Everything else has to go home at the end of each night. So I return items that don't belong on my desk or in my workspace each night right before I go to bed so that my tidying remains minimal and can be done in just under a few minutes. Now it's time for a detailed desk tour. My desk is called Flexi Spot, and this is a standing desk. During the pandemic, standing desks became increasingly popular for their health benefits, and I definitely feel that. Since I started using a standing desk, I experienced fewer backaches and fatigues. And strangely, when I'm standing, I feel more focused. 
And I usually pair this feature of the desk with the Pomodoro technique. So I stand for 25 minutes, then sit for the next 25. I think it helps my blood circulation and focus. The downside of this desk is the default height is a little too high for me, even at the lowest setting. So I attached this keyboard tray to help me type with comfort. I initially didn't intend this to happen, but having a keyboard tray actually creates more working surface on the desktop and I have come to really appreciate it. Now I can spread as many books as I want, have my journal open, or have snacks or things like that out on my desk without interfering my typing space, so that's really cool. For organization, I use an IKEA pegboard. I had this in an upright position on the side of my desk at first, but I felt like I had horse blinders on or that I was in a small cubicle, which made me feel a little claustrophobic. I also didn't want my stuff to accumulate dust, so I decided to hang it beneath my desk and it's been working pretty well. And this system also works perfectly to store my Mac Mini without having to drill extra holes on the desk or anything. And here, I stashed some extra USB cables. I honestly can't wait for everything to go wireless. I hate cables. Which is why I use this cable box to hide all the ugly cables. And for extra cable management, I use these little 3M cable clips and the good old zip ties. For electronics, I am currently using an Apple Magic Keyboard for typing, but I am in the process of transitioning to a split keyboard. For mouse, I've tried 5-6 to six mice before I settled on this one. He is one of the only trackball mouse that is small enough for my hand. And the clicking sound is very quiet, which was extremely important to me. And for monitor, I use LG Wide Monitor. It makes it easier to have several windows open because of its width. For monitor arm, I use this one that I purchased off of Amazon, but there were surprisingly limited options when it comes to white monitor arm. Everything was either black or silver, so it took me a little bit to find a white one, but it's been working great. And for a mic, I use Blue Snowball mic. The leg used to be silver, but I could not tolerate having silver in my all white setup, so I actually spray painted it to white. And for camera, I use Logitech camera. Again, there are surprisingly limited amount of white cameras on the market, and it was actually a bit north of my budget, but it works great for video calls or streaming, and it's white and it's aesthetic and extremely functional, so I went for it. Alright, that was the entire day of my desk setup and I hope this was somewhat helpful and let me know how you like to design your workspace in the comment section. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching and I'll see you folks in the next video.